Hello Promixers, welcome to Promixing and Mastering. Today I'm gonna do a review on Cubase 5 and Cubase 10.5. Wanna see uh, what has changed and which one is still better. So I have my Cubase 10.5 and I have my Cubase 5. Now, whenever you open Cubase, there is something that comes up, and I've noticed that our 10.5 Cubase, this is 10.5, comes like this when you first open it. Whenever you open it, it comes like this, gives you all these options, and this is how uh, they look like. There is recent. This is where all your recent projects um, are displayed and there is recording that give you an option whether you want to record in uh, mono eight stereo 16 midi or uh, eight groups then there is 24 mono 12 stereo 24 midi eight groups and the rest just goes on then there is also clean guitar electric guitar plus uh, vocals and then there is Corin right here then there is also um, production, there is mastering, and then there is more, which is empty. All right, this is Cubase uh, 10.5. So what I'm gonna do is just go on empty, create empty. And basically, this is how it comes like, like this. Um, I don't really like the way the color, like the default color for two, uh, 10.5 grayish color mixed with, with uh, some black. Uh, for me, I don't like the way the color is in 10.5, though I think maybe there is a setting where you change the color. I definitely know there is. If they didn't put that, they, they didn't just do it well, because something big like this has to come with a lot of options. Now I'm going to go to uh, Cubase uh, 5 and when you open it, it usually comes like this with this little box and then it has 16 MIDI tracks, sequencer, it has 8 mono, 4 stereo audio tracks. Alright, then it has Cubase all these. And it's like in, in 10.5 they have like added more like 24 stereo for the 8 midi 16 groups and all that they have added more compared to Cubase 5 so there is nothing like um, electric guitar and those other things which are super but all the same I like the color like yeah a little bit of gray and blue combined together and some black i like the color like the the, the lay the layout for uh cubase 5 is really nice and then creating so this is the same right click add audio track so this is how it comes like there is audio input which is and then there is configuration which is of course stereo there is audio outputs which is if you want it to be stereo left or right okay stereo then there is audio inputs let's say if your input is mono if you want to put it in mono or stereo so what about Cubase 5 just gives you this and then there is configuration simple one one thing i love about cubase 5 i'm gonna give my opinion at the end of this video one thing i love about cubase 5 is that it's simple simplicity this is for beginners like if you're a beginner you're not gonna struggle with cubase 5 but if you are trying to record in cubase 10.5 it's really gonna give you a hard time trying to to figure out where certain things are so stereo then there's counting simple like everything's just done for you so from there you just 
click that and then here we go with Cubase um, 10.5 there is so many there are so many things that are uh, a beginner won't be able to tell which one is supposed which one is the uh, output or audio and all that though you've got these cool features where you write and you know so like when whenever you want to add another track just have to write and then there we go you have this maximize and then let me try to record just have to press this and we have starting the recordings right there then this is gonna show whenever you like uh, right click instead of um, opening the other side for example let me record from here also one two one two one two all right um we, we can record this side due to a show i'm recording and but all the same let's say with let me just bring out this then i'm gonna put this in here so i show you what i mean so with Cubus 10.5, it comes down here. It comes down there. Right here, whenever you like double click, it just comes down there. With Cubus 5, when you double click, it takes you to this. I can I say that I'm still used to, to this. I love the way the simplicity of this is simple, especially that I'm talking from... Uh, the beginner's point of view they just want to click it and then it comes here they won't be able to know this unless they take some time like this is confusing so like 10.5 cubes 10.5 is really confusing especially for beginners and uh, if it is confusing to pros it how much more beginners like they they, they may end up just destroying the vocal right here and just you know not be able to know what to do they may think wow what's happening right here what's really happening and the yet the main vocal is is in here yeah they upgraded it but um there's console right there mixer and when you when you click here and mix console it's good there is editor and there is sampler and there is chords if uh, all oh, these are, well yeah so they 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 put in some upgrades but they needed to like also look at the spacing then there is also track editor track editor track so the editor simply brings the panning and the volume and all that the same inserts all right inserts are still there all right this is what they have added then we have studio this is where you you do the configurations the midi and the vst plugins in cubase 5 you had it on devices and this is where so in cubase 5 there is no studio there is only devices and um there is a studio so devices has been replaced by studio and work there is workplaces there is a media this project this file and um i, I want to check out instrument let me try to put an instrument we see all right so we have instrument right there so get um a drawer and I just want to test to see how it is so when whenever you double click it comes down here I love the simplicity of five like you can see everything nicely just come there um, do that and then double click work in this Cubase 10.5 comes in Nuendo and the rest are just everything. But I realize that some of the instruments which are in 5 are not there in 10.5. And also 
Reverb A, whereby you can get certain plugins, um, DLL plugins, and throw them into the VST folders. In 10.5, it's really, really hard to like bring those there. So it has some limits. I know they are trying to upgrade and make things better, but uh, for now, I just, I'm just gonna be using Cubase 5 unless I wanna do something in 10.5. That's when I can be going there, but I think Cubase 5 is better for me, so. If you wanted to know which one is better for you as a beginner, go for Cubase 5. 10.5, you can work on it later, but I advise you to use Cubase 5. So if you like this video, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.